friend sent us an email containing the drone that he likes to cut out for him. I've transferred the drone onto a memory stick, so I need to open, open sheet cam. Right in sheet cam, we'll go file, import drone. I'm going to import a drone from memory stick, which is that one. And the drone's called a round about two bracket, which is that it is there. Open. Right, that's the drone. The program actually knows which is the inside and outside, which is solid, which is a hole, because the drone's in red and yellow. I need to set some parameters for the cut. I'm going to use outside offset, reverse cut direction, layer zero. The material I've got is 11 mil. The nearest I've got in here is basically half inch plate. So I'll go with a half inch plate. And I can always adjust the settings as and when I need to. One more thing I'm going to add is one of the RTEC rules. The RTEC rule is this one here. For piercing thick plate. Okay. Right, so from that, we've actually got a, a cut path now. We can do a, a simulation on it. See, it's going to cut the holes out first, and it's cutting the holes from the inside of the hole. Now it's going to cut the part out, and it's going to cut the part from the outside, so there's no damage to the part. It's obviously going to cut a lot slower when we're doing it for real on the material. I think we'll stop that. From here, we we'll need to generate a J code. It's going to be called Land of our tour bracket. Save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to write a program so I can do a test cut on the 11mm plate before I actually cut it out. So basically I want to draw a straight line. I'll draw a straight line. I'll make it 100mm as long. export that I'm going to save it in the folder which is strange enough called Artec Plasma I'm going to call it one hundred millimeter test eleven plate Right, next is to open sheet cam. In sheet cam, we'll select file. Import drone. The drone is desktop. Artec Plasma. Open 100mm test cut 11mm plate. Open as you can see, it's just a straight line. We need to put in some cutting parameters, there's no offset, no reverse cut direction on a test cut, it's just a straight line. The material I'm using is 11mm, the nearest we've got is basically half inch which is 12.7 so I'll select that one and then we can tune it in or out, up or down, amperage wise and speed wise to get the sort of cut we require. Okay, right so we're going to save this 
And so we're going to generate from that a G code, which is a 100mm test cut, 11mm plate. Save. OK. So we can do a simulation on it. Basically, it'll just be a, a straight cut. Before I cut the part out, I'm going to do a test cut. So I'm going to load the J code. Load J code. And it was a 100mm test cut on an 11mm plate, which is that one there. Go up and that. If you look underneath, there's quite a lot of dross formed on the back of the cut. It comes off easily. I think what I'll do, I'll speed the, the tear rate up very slightly and do another trial cut. You only just one tramper at once, see that amplitude or feed rate or air pressure. Right, so I'm going to make it run a little bit faster, 120%. We'll set it up again and do another cut. As you can see, that's a lot cleaner. This is going to settle for that. Okay, so in Mac 3, we need to load the J code. The J code is Land Rover Tour Bracket, which is that one. Open. Zero the X and Y axis, regenerate the cut path, and basically we're ready to go. Because we loaded the RTEC rule for piercing thick plate, once the torch is pierced a hole, it'll stop cutting. The torch then lifts up, stands still, and this gives us the opportunity to scrape off any surface dross which could possibly catch on the tip of the torch as it resumes cutting. Once this is done, you simply press start and the process carries on. That gives me a chance to go in, just remove the flat and then start it again. Again, just go in and just remove that. And now we'll put the, the long hole out. Once again, it will pee up and then stop cutting.
just on the back of the paw. Not straight off. With some finer tuning you can get that even better. But honestly that's not bad for it. The calic it pisses about as it was. 